A Quantil server contains no QuickTime files at all, but it can contain virtual folders which may contain virtual files which include QuickTime, MXF, XML and many other file types. These virtual files become real if we click on them, like with this QuickTime file here. It's now playing just as we need it. And why am I showing you all this? Well, because of course Final Cut Pro needs to be fed with QuickTime files in order to work. So we're using virtualized QuickTime files here. So we're going to demonstrate the Final Cut Pro workflow using a live recording high definition clip. We're going to make some edits on Final Cut Pro which we're then going to play back immediately from another high definition port on the Quantel server. Then we're going to show you how Delta Publishing makes the process of publishing fast and efficient. We're going to show project exchange between Quantel editors and Final Cut Pro. And finally, we're going to show you Quantel's frame magic extended to the workflow with Final Cut Pro. So now we're going to start a live new high definition recording into the Quantel server using our QRecord desktop application. So on the right hand screen, we now have the record port and we can see that we're within a few seconds of that on the Final Cut Pro editor. And now we're going to use standard editing techniques to put together a very short producer style edit with three clips on the timeline. Later we're going to add a text overlay to the middle shot and we're going to use this to illustrate a number of points in the rest of the presentation. In this example, which we gave to our customers WDR in Germany, uh, we've added their company name as the text overlay, just to illustrate that this really was a live presentation at IBC. So we're just going to stretch out the text so it's halfway across the second shot, and then all we need to do is to publish onto the server so that everyone is able to see the piece, and we can also take it to air. So as the publish happens, We'll switch again to the split screen, this time with Final Cut Pro on the left hand side and the playout port on the right. Here is the clip playing. In a moment we're going to see the WDR logo showing the text overlay and then the third shot. So an edit made on Final Cut Pro played out in HD from the SQ server. So now we're going to drop onto a Quantel desktop just to review that edit that we made on Final Cut Pro a moment ago. So here's that piece playing out, there's our text, and of course, because we still have the recording in our server bin, we could add more shots if we needed to. So the main thing we're going to show on this Quantel editor is the workflow from Quantel to Final Cut. I have a 30 second edit here, just like any journalist or producer would be making every day, of shot selections from some cycling footage. As soon as we've edited these down, I'm again going to publish this to the server so that Final Cut can pick it up and we can do some more craft work. So on my Final Cut, if I open up my server search, drop in my short edit which we just made onto the timeline, we can play it through of course. But the way I'm going to finish this piece off is to add some video transitions. We'll add a page peel first because it's really easy to see. And then on the second cut, we'll add a dissolve. Of course, this requires the Final Cut Pro to have access not only to the cut points set in the Quantel editor, but also to the underlying clips. This time we're going to publish this piece again with a new title so that we can play it out from the server to air. So let's move back again to the split screen with the playout port on the right hand side, load that new edit that Anna just made, and here it is playing out to air in high definition. There's the page peel, and here's the end of the race. So now let's go back to Final Cut Pro one more time, and what we're going to do now is actually ask Anna to reload the text edit that we made a few moments ago, the one with the WDR letters over the top. And the reason we're going to do that is to make another point. The Quantel server stores not only the information to play back the finished edits, it also stores all of the information about the project, the XAML file created by 
the Final Cut Pro. So this text is still live and we can change the lettering here from WDR to Quantel, for example. We're now going to make this timeline much more realistic by adding a very long piece of video onto the end of these three shots. So as Anna publishes the clip, we're going to switch again to the dual screen, this time with Final Cut Pro on the left and the playout port on the right. I'm then able to go back to the start and we can just prove another point very quickly. I can match frame back to that original footage which we began to record in at the start of the demo. So now Anna's going to use exactly the same published dialog to publish this 10 minute edit. This will take a few seconds which gives me just enough time to explain to you what we mean by Quantel Delta Publishing. The server contains clips like the blue one and the green one here. In Final Cut Pro we've been putting these onto the timeline to construct our story like this. Then we added the effects. We added the text, we added the page turn and the dissolve. And then we hit publish. As soon as we do that the server is able to construct the original blue and green pieces because they don't have to move. Then the new pieces, or the deltas, are moved from the workstation to the server, like this. We do this for a number of reasons. First of all, it's much faster because only small pieces of new video have to move to the server. Second, we use much less storage in the Quantel server. And third, of course, we use much less traffic on the network as we do so. So now we've cut up full frame the server port and here while I've been talking the publish has finished and a 10 minutes timeline is ready for air in a little over 20 seconds. There was the new Quantel graphic overlay. Here's the third shot and now we're going to cut into that 10 minutes of cycle racing. So now we've done that, we don't need to watch all 10 minutes. Let's go back onto the Quantel desktop and just see what we can do here. So I've put that long piece on the timeline and you can see down the bottom there that the clip is actually over 10 minutes long. If we zoom in, we can actually match frame back to that original recording which is still coming in now. This works because of something called identity tracking which is part of what we call frame magic. The original recording in the Quantel server, the long blue strip at the bottom, we've now picked up in our Final Cut Pro and we've made three versions of the edit, the WDR version, the Quantel version and the long version. Then we went onto the Quantel desktop and we were able to match frame all the way back to the original recording. So to summarize we have shown you Final Cut Pro working on a live high definition recording coming into the Quantel server. We've shown you immediate playback of edits, we've shown you the speed of Delta publishing, we've shown you project exchange with Quantel editors in both directions, and we've shown you some of the benefits of Frame Magic in the Final Cut Pro editor.